Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make this top. I got the inspiration from the one showing on the screen right now, and this is what I made from this top. And actually, I made this top and I style it in two ways. So keep watching to see how I was able to style this. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the video. Keep watching. welcome guys so this is the two materials we'll be using we'll be using a silk fabric which will be used for the base you can also use a lycra material or any material of your choice and we'll be using an organza for the ruffle so i got one yard and the other pieces is the extra i have at home so these are the materials i'll be using so before we continue we have to draft the base of the inner the top where we'll put the ruffles on so this is the pattern i made as you can see what i labeled on the pattern just label according to your measurement then you measure your nipple to nipple measurements plus half inch mine is 3.5 plus half inch which is four and i'll mark this on the point there from the bust down to the end of the top so the length of my top is around 18 19 inches because i don't want it to be a crop top i want it to be longer a little bit than a crop top then the next thing i'll be doing is to make a dart and the waistline here i took in half half inch and at the bust area as you can see a point there i went down by one inch then what i'll be doing is just to connect the points like this then i'll connect this remaining part downward too just like the way i'm doing so after that the next thing to do is to measure our bust measurement and to add our sewing allowance too so my bust measurement divided by four you had your sewing allowance i'll be adding one and a half to mine you can add whatever works for you you move to your waist area you measure your waist measurement divided by four whatsoever that you took out there you add it back then you had your sewing allowance too so at this lower part here you measure your waist measurement divided by four also after then you add your sewing allowance then you had extra one or one and a half inches you know that lower part will not be your exact waist measurement so you have to add extra one inch or one and a half to the parts so the next thing you'll be doing is just to connect the line After connecting the points, the next thing you will do is to go over to this area and measure how wide you want your top to be. So I'll be measuring 5 inch, five inches here. I'll measure 5 inches. Then from that point, I'll connect it to my arm O. So after that, I'll just go ahead and cut my pattern out. So now let's draw the back pattern so the difference between the front and the back pattern for this is just the zipper allowance so i'll just add extra one inch for my zipper allowance then i'll cut it out then after that i will trace out my darts using my my tracer i'll just trace it out just to transfer the dart from the front to the back then i've ruled out my zipper allowance then i want to note this point too because i'll be going in by half inch at this area What I'll be doing next now is this is my neckline. So I will be going down by one inch at this area just to give the back a curve. A curve. I don't want the back to just be straight. I want it to be curvy a little bit. So that is what I did there. Then I will cut it out. So these are the patterns. And I'll just go ahead and cut my fabric. 
this is my fabric i've cut it out and i've added sewing allowance at this area so the next thing i'll be doing is to transfer my darts so the way i transfer my dart from the pattern to the fabric is to note the beginning of the darts yeah i'll put a pin through at the beginning of the darts just like that so i'll now use my shock to just mark where the pin is entering just to make a point at that side since this fabric is too because i'll be using the same fabric as the lining and also as the main fabric so now i've i've done that i will remove the pin and the pattern as you can see the shock area so i know that that point to that point is my that area so that's what i did to this and i'll also do the same thing too for the back pattern and for the back pattern i also added sewing allowance at this area i added sewing allowance there i'm sorry this thing is looking rough it's because it's a silk fabric and it is just moving about so the same thing i did for the transferring of the dart i'll do the same thing too for this one you put a pin through from the pattern to the fabric for the beginning of the dart and the end of the dart then we have the pin passes through you make a notch you make you use a chalk to mark to note the point where the pin is passing through i do the same thing too for the inside in case you are not just using one fabric because i'm using four like you know it's doubled the front and back so i have to locate for and um, that for everything so that is it and this is the strap for the sleeve so whatsoever you took out from the shoulder to the upper bust whatsoever your measurement is for the front and back you reduce it so i'll go ahead and make the dart on all this lining and the main fabric and i'll also go ahead and join this and join this strap like the sleeve so now you place your the sleeve the strap sleeve you place it on the fabric where you want it to be you pin it down then you go ahead and sew you pin it down so if you are using double fabric so you place the other one too on it so you go ahead and sew after placing this on it then you leave an opening at one side so that you can turn it through that side you we'll do the same thing too for the back you place the strap then you sew too after we've joined the front and the back so the next thing we'll do is to join them by the sides you join them by the sides and and after then we'll make our ruffles so this is our organza and i went ahead to pieces them into several inches wide so each one is seven inches wide and it's about five of them like that and this is our cycle this is not a perfect cycle by the way you know organza fabric and the way they behave but it should be 10 by 10 it should be 10 by 10 depending on how wide the front is if you are a bigger size you can make this bigger but me i wanted to cover the whole of the front so i use 10 by 10 so I use 10 by 10 and what I will be doing now is to just make this and make just ruffles here. So I will take you to the sewing machine now to show you how I did it. So now we start by, we start from the edge. I like starting from the edge and starting from the middle. So you just be folding it in. You'll be folding it in and you will keep sewing around. Just round like that, like that, she gets to almost the midpoint. So, if you are joining and you notice one, you've exhausted one of the nets, you fold it in like this, then you place it on it. If you notice it's shooting out at the other side, you move it in a bit. Then you place this one on it so that it can just look as if there was no join in there so you continue until you get to the midpoint so 
so when you get to the midpoint for you to finish like make the finishing of the midpoint just try and just make fold this in in such a way that it will just cover the inside most time i just fold it in place it inside and i sew it in such a way that it will not show outside that's how i just finish this inside that's how i'll finish the end like the middle point of this so then i take it to my sewing machine then i just sew a little bit at that area you sew in such a way that when you bring these rows out like outside it won't show like it won't be visible and then i noticed that some part of my ruffles there were too much space and since there's extra fabric i went ahead to still make some ruffles inside so this is what the rose looks like now it's time to fix the rosette on the bodies so me i want it you know it is 10 by 10 so i have to locate the midpoint of this blouse i have to locate the midpoint of this blouse to see where i want to place it after you've gotten where you want to place it so you pin it down at those area So after I placed it like this, I noticed it was too low. So before I sew, I took out the pin, then I repinned it again so that I can get the perfect place. Then after that, you take it to your sewing machine to sew. Take it to your sewing machine to sew, then you fix your zip. So this is what the top looks like after sewing and doing everything, fixing the zip, sewing the ruffles to the top. So this is what it looks like and it looks really really nice very beautiful so this is what the top look like as you can see it is very nice and very beautiful as i said earlier it is not a crop top so it is longer and this is what the back look like so thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe if you have any question for me please drop it in the comment section and i'll reply as soon as i see them so bye.